Hey traders, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can make your own swing high and swing low detection indicator in PyScript. And also, we're going to look at the formation of candlestick patterns at those swing points because if there's a formation of a candlestick pattern, it increases the probability of the reversals. So for this, we're going to go towards the Pine editor and inside here, I'm going to go ahead and paste the code line by line. And as a disclaimer, this code is inspired by the Lux Algo's swing highs and swing lows indicator. So make sure to check it out and also leave them a like. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and define our indicator. So let me just go ahead and paste that part. So we're going to go ahead and say that we're going to make an indicator that is named swing highs and swing lows. And we're going to set the maximum label count to 500 so that there are only 500 labels on the chart and the overlay is going to be two for sure. So now let's go ahead and take the inputs that we need for our indicator. So we're gonna need basically two inputs. First one is the look back period that we want to take to judge these lower highs, high highs and low lows and high lows. And another input is the color of these uh, labels that we want to plot on the formation of high highs and high lows. Next. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and define the tooltips as these lower highs and higher lows form. This is not very important, but it does make the indicator more user friendly. So, for example, here we're seeing if the hammer is detected, the description of hammer would be the hammer candlestick pattern is formed of uh, is formed of a short body with a long lower fix and is found at the bottom of a downtrend. So all these descriptions are defining what each pattern is. So we're going to go ahead and uh, detect the hammer pattern, inverted hammer, bullish engulfing, hanging man, shooting star, and bearish engulfing candlestick patterns on the chart at the locations of swing highs and swing lows. And if there is no formation of pattern, then we're going to program the indicator to plot none onto the chart. So these are just the descriptions. We have just defined the variables and then we have assigned the strings with the concatenation. And if you hover over to the indicator, once you hover over to the label, you will be able to see this description plotted and it pops up once you put your cursor on the label. So this is the benefit of giving the tooltip that at any time you can hover over and you can read what that candlestick pattern means. As you can see in this case here, here. Now, let's go to the next part. In the next part, what we're going to do is we're going to define a user defined type. Now, I'm not sure if you've heard of this, but this is very useful. It is basically defining your own custom function with the arguments that you need. So, for example, since we want to detect the candlestick pattern upon the formation of swing highs and swing lows, we are defining a custom user defined type that is candlestick pattern and we want to take the arguments of condition, title and description. So this is basically similar to the built in functions. But inside here, we are defining our own arguments and the types which we are expecting within that function. So this is a candlestick patterns function. And then now let's go ahead and do the calculations that we need to detect these patterns. So what we're going to go is we're going to take the data from the chart. First, we need to set the previous highs and previous lows. We need to define this variable because we at the end, we want to check if the next high, if the next high or low that forms is higher or lower than the previous ones. On the basis of these, we'll be able to plot the high highs and high lows. After that, we're going to go ahead and take the open, close, low and high prices of the look back candle because we want to plot these labels onto the chart on those candles. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and calculate the candlestick body size and pivot high and pivot low. So pivot high is basically a TA dot pivot high and TA dot pivot low is basically a built in function in PyScript. So you can use that to detect the pivot highs and pivot lows. And our code could have been much shorter as well if we just wanted to define if we just wanted to get the pivot highs pivot lows but since we want to in uh, we want to find the candlestick patterns at each pivot high or pivot low that's why we need to program that logic into this as well now let's go ahead and 
define the conditions for the formation of candlestick patterns. And the first one we're going to detect is the hammer candlestick. Now here, the type, the user defined type that we had defined earlier, we're going to use that. We're going to say candlestick pattern dot new as in we say label dot new. So this new is going to accept a condition as you can see here. This is the condition. This is the label and this is the description. So we have already defined the description at the top here. We're going to take that and put it in here. We're going to have, we're going to assign it a hammer if the condition is found. And the condition is basically this, which is this condition basically here, which checks if the formation of hammer is valid or not. You can break down this logic as well. If I go over each logic, I'm just going to go ahead and define the logic for this one. But for the next candlestick patterns, I'm just going to copy and paste because the logic is very, very similar. So in this one, we're checking first if there's a formation of a pivot low okay at the low because we want to check the formation of hammer as you can see here this is basically pivot low and if the condition is true then we want to check because here we are going to get the minimum of the open and close price so for example this one here the opening price is here and the closing price is this so we want to take the closing price of this candle because we basically want to check if there is a very long shadow at the bottom so we're going to take that whichever is minimum we're going to take that we're going to subtract it from the low so that we can get the lower wick and after that we are going to say if the lower wick is greater than the candle body size and also if the higher wick is lower than the candle body size so in the formation of hammer we want the lower wick to be less greater than the body size and the higher wick to be lower than the body size so this is our condition then if that is true we want to plot a label of hammer and then also we want to plot a hammer description along that now let's go ahead and paste the code for other candlestick patterns detection so i'm just going to go ahead and paste it here so you can see similar to hammer we have the inverted hammer we have the bullish engulfing hanging man shooting star and bearish engulfing candlestick pattern now as i said if i start to go through logic of each it will the video will become much much longer so i would encourage you to go ahead and break it down and if you uh, if you get stuck or if you need any help let me know in the comments and i'll explain the logic behind the detection of each candlestick pattern now let's go ahead and plot our labels onto the chart so here as well this is pretty good uh, trick to make your code more cleaner and also make it less cumbersome so here we're gonna go ahead and take the current bar index that is bar index so we are going to use the candlestick pattern type that we had defined earlier and then as we saw it takes the arguments of condition title and the description and we have already defined everything in this here uh, let me just go to the code so we have already defined each and everything here so now what we're going to do is we're going to check if there's a formation of any of these patterns on the current bar so for example if the uh, latest bar on the latest bar if hammer condition is true then we want to assign it the hammer candlestick pattern which is basically this okay so all these condition the title and the description will be passed on to this candlestick pattern function the user defined type that we had assigned if this condition is true then we want to pass this onto this but if it is false then we want to check if there's a formation of inverted hammer if that is true we want to pass this one to the candlestick pattern function and then it will plot it on the chart and similarly we're going to check each candlestick pattern and then if none of them is true then we want to just pass the na to the candlestick pattern now as you can see here that we have defined all the candlestick patterns that we want to find on the pivot highs and pivot lows and now comes when we plot these onto the chart so let me just go ahead and paste the pivot high function so that we are detecting the pivot high let me just go ahead and put some space so here we can see if pivot high is true the swing high type is going to be either higher high or lower high and if the pivot high is greater than the previous side then it's going to be higher high but if it's less than the previous side then it's going to be lower low 
And then we want to plot a label in which we are saying current bar index, that is look back period, because in the formation of the pivot highs and pivot lows, we have already defined a look back period. So for our case, that is 21. So on the current bar index, on the bar index of the 21st candle, we are basically uh, checking the pivot high and swing high type. And also because this is a label, all right? So we're plotting the pivot high label that we had already defined. We are checking the swing type that is here. Either it's going to be higher high or lower high. Plus, we're going to concatenate the current pattern that is the pattern that we had defined here. This one here, current pattern. And if none of them is true, then we want to pass the none. And then here, we're going to, if that is false, then we're going to uh, plot the current pattern title. And also, we're going to give it a color, a style, a tool, uh, text color, and a tooltip. That is, we have already defined in this one here. The tooltip is going to that. As you can see here, we are seeing the tooltip and the formation of hammer. And then, and at the end, we want to assign the previous eye the pivot high because on the formation of a next pivot high, the previous one becomes a previous pivot high. So this is what we are doing. We're doing, uh, we're redefining the previous high to the pivot high on the formation of a next pivot high. So this is all what's happening here. Similarly, we're gonna go ahead and check for the formation of the pivot low and if else if there is a formation of pivot low we're gonna go ahead and get the lower low or higher low based on the formation of pivot low is less than the previous low and also we're gonna plot the label on the candle that is equal to look back period and we're gonna pass on the uh, description of pivot low swing type and also current pattern <laughs> and if none of them is forming if none of the candlestick pattern is forming we're gonna go ahead and assign it none and similarly, we're going to go ahead and assign a color, style, text color, and tooltip that is the current pattern description based on these patterns that we are defined. So now our indicator is complete. Let me just go ahead and remove it and add this to a chart. And here, as you can see, the indicator is working perfectly. And if we hover over to any candlestick pattern, we can see the description of that pattern as well as we have already defined in our function. So I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Also, please make sure to join our forum where we discuss about the Pine script. And if you have any questions, there are a lot of traders like you who uh, program in Pine script. So you can ask your questions on the forum as well. Uh, and I'm also actively replying to any questions that uh, traders like you have on the forum as well. So see you in the next video. Thank you.